Hey everybody, welcome to A-Town Rabbit Tree. I'm Courtney and uh, today I want to look at some babies. Um, a lot has happened and what has it been? Week, week and a half, maybe two weeks since I've seen you. Um, dogs are running around weird. Anyway, so let's go take a look at some babies. Okay, we're going to start with the youngest ones and this is um, Garnet. And she is bred to Zircon. And as you know, Zircon is my only white buck. So every white baby from here on, at least for a while, is going to be out of him. Um, she kindled, what was it, seven? And she's down to four. Maybe it was eight. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, uh, these guys are two weeks old. Um, she did have six up until... I do believe it was Saturday morning, and uh, she she had lost two on. Uh, they had jumped out of the box. Uh, one had fallen in the water bowl. One was at the back of the cage, and these four were uh, huddled up at the front of the cage. So anyway, these guys are two weeks old now. Their eyes are open, as you can see. They they do a lot of scratching on their eyes when they're two weeks old to try and keep them open. Um, it is cold out, so they are huddled up all the time. Um, on nice warm days, I will pull them out uh, of the box, pull the box completely out, let them roam around the cage, and then uh, at nighttime, put the box back in, put them back in the box until they are about three, four weeks old. Next door is Amethyst, and she is expecting my very first Valentine litter. Uh, she's due on Valentine's Day. Today is Tuesday the 12th. Or, yeah, today is the 12th. So, um, we're hoping to have some babies come Thursday. She's hiding in the box. Uh, this is typical for her. Uh, she builds her nest, then she hangs out in the box until the babies are born. <laughs> I guess she's packing everything down. I don't know. But anyway, um... So hopefully we'll have a video to post come Thursday of some new babies, either that or Friday, you know, uh, depends on what time of the day she has them. Okay, the next youngest litter here is Elaine's litter. These were sired by um, A-Town's uh, Grand Champion Slick. Uh, of course, I put that backwards. <laughs> Grand Champion A-Town's Slick. Uh, we have four blacks and two broken blacks in here. Uh, they are three weeks old and it is feeding time so unfortunately we can't see them all. She's wanting attention. Hi Elaine. Hello. Yeah, you're a sweet girl. Um, so <laughs> we can't see any of you. Just looks like a mass of black babies. Oh, that wire's sticking out. Let me see here. Can I find it? It looked like it was sticking out. Oh, I guess it was this wire here. That's part of holding on the feeder. So, never mind. Brain fart! So anyway, here's the brokens down here hiding. You can't see them. So anyway, we'll move on to the next litter. Okay, and this is Peridot and her three babies. She kindled eight and uh, she is caring for only three. Um, Winter time is tough, uh, especially on first time moms. There's Zircon. He loves his kids. I think he really enjoys having them right next to him. <laughs> Here they are. Beautiful little, uh, I guess you could say just albino New Zealands, but they're, they're white with red eyes. Hello. Bless you. We got one back here hiding. Where are you at? There you are drink. They're so cute at this age. Absolutely adorable. Um, these guys, I do believe, are four weeks old. And these guys are small. Um, Mom didn't quite know what to do to start with, so they had a rough start. That is why they are so tiny. So here they are. Peridot and Zircon's babies. Okay, now we are at uh, Blue Rain's cage, and she has her litter of five, and these guys are uh, five weeks old, so actually, 
Peridot's kids are five weeks old because these ones are only two days older. Oh, this one is really interesting coming out. Hello. And these are sired by Domino. As you know, he's a Charlie. Um, so we got all brokens. Absolutely gorgeous babies. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these patterns. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, here, let's get the fifth one in there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful babies. All have even nose markings. Yeah, look at that. Nice, rich blue color. And I'm sure that, you know, uh, they just look kind of, um, this is baby coat, makes it look a little rough. Um, but as they mature, this will clean up and look really nice. Hello there. Aren't you cute? Hi there. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, over here in this cage, I have my spring show team. Uh, these guys vary in age between nine weeks and eight weeks, maybe ten weeks and eight weeks. Yeah, eight and ten weeks. Uh, these two black ones are ten weeks, I do believe. Uh, the broken blacks are the eight week olds and I do believe this white one is a nine week old. Um, these are the team. I have a buck and a doe of each of the black and the broken black and then the white one is a doe. Um, I decided to keep these because I liked their body types and their size. So yeah, hello. <laughs> I'm eager to put them on the table. I know they're not quite ready. These two blacks for sure will be on uh, on the table at the first show come March 2nd in Gardner. And then um, I'm not sure about the white one. We'll see what her weight is like. And same with these guys. It, it just all depends on their weight if they meet the minimum requirement uh, to be placed on the table. And that is six pounds. Um, I'd like to see them at six, six and a half. Uh, even seven pounds uh, their first time going on the table, but um, once they're 12 weeks, they're old enough, and so we will give it a shot. As long as they're 12 weeks and six pounds, we will put them on the table and see how they do. I really like this white doe. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, the blacks are um, out of Grand Champion Grace Hollows, Jake, and Mills Blue Moon. The white one back here is out of A-Town Sapphire and Dickerson's Garnet. And then the two broken blacks are out of Grace Hollow's uh, Domino and A-Town's Onyx. Moving on, we are going to start on this side of the grow out pen. And there are three blacks in here. Um, two of them are sold. These two here. And then this one down here is looking for her new home. These two broken blacks are bucks, also looking for their new home. And then um, this white one here, she has a home. And this white one here uh, with the split in her ear, she has a new home. And they have chosen to name her Banana Split, which is absolutely adorable. Over here are Rabbit's still looking for homes. Um, more than likely, these chestnuts are going to find, and the steel, are going to find a home in my freezer. Uh, the black one's a doe looking for a home. And then the whites, we have a buck and a doe uh, also looking for new homes. So um, let me know if I can help you out with any of these. Okay, last up are the only two... November kits we got. Uh, these are Blue Rain's kids with uh, banks. Um, the blue is sold and the broken blue is looking for a new home. Both of them are does. Hi there! Aren't you cute? And since my focus is on the brokens, I'm going to go ahead and show her until she finds a new home. I do like her, um, but I already have two broken blue does on the show team, so um, I don't see a true need for a third, but anyway, I'm going to put her on the table anyway. Um, the other two are nearly senior and 6'8", so uh, she would be the only one in the juniors as a broken blue, but um, anyway, 
just wanted to show her off to you. Hi there, aren't you cute? She's just moving around and her sisters is back here just curled up in ball. It was so cold. So they just kind of sit curled up, just hanging out. Yeah. So that's all the babies, guys. Yep, that's everybody. Hey. Hi there. There we go. That's your attention. Hi. There we go. <laughs> Hello. These two are just absolutely sweet. Hi there. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, I want to thank you, uh, everyone, for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye.